Hello guys, in this video I am going to introduce you to yet another very fascinating research model vCoder by Jitesh and colleagues and you can not only install this vCoder locally on your Ubuntu system but if you want you can also have a go at their hugging face demo. Before I show you how to install it and how to use that hugging face demo, let me quickly give you a quick overview of this awesome project. As we all know that humans possesses the remarkable skill of visual perception. What it means is that humans have the ability to see and understand the scene, helping them make sense of the visual world and in turn reason. Multimodal LLMs have recently achieved impressive performance on vision language tasks ranging from VQA or visual question answering and image captioning to visual reasoning and also image generation. But the problem is that whenever they are prompted to identify or count the entities in a given image, existing LLMs, especially the multimodal LLMs or MLLM systems, they either hallucinate or totally give a false answer or simply fail to answer. That is where this research helps out. Working towards developing an accurate MLLM system for perception and reasoning, these researchers have proposed using a versatile vision encoder or vCoder as perception eyes for multimodal LLMs. As you can see on your screen this architectural diagram, they are feeding the vCoder with perception modalities such as segmentation or depth maps, improving the MLLM's perception abilities. And then they are leveraging the images from CEO, CEO and outputs from off-the-shelf vision perception models to create their COCO segment text or cost data set for training and evaluating LLMs on the object perception task. And then they are introducing matrices to assess the object perception abilities in LLMs in their cost data set. And lastly, they have provisioned extensive experimental evidence proving the vCoder's improved object level perception skills over existing multimodal LLMs including GPT-4 vision. Another great thing is that if you go to this GitHub repo, they have open sourced all the source code, data set and also the whole model in order to promote research. I will drop the link of this in video's description so that you can also read along and really hats off to all of these researchers, amazing stuff and very generous too by the way. Okay, now let's see how you can install it locally on your system. So let me go to my Ubuntu system quickly. So this is my Ubuntu system and I have 22.04 installed and I have the latest Python version installed. Let me clear my screen. And make sure that you have the latest Python version installed or at least 3.10. The first step which we need to do is to git clone this GitHub repo. So simply type git clone and that's done. Now let's cd to that vcoder directory. And let me do quickly ls-ltr to show you the content. So these are the contents you would normally get. Let me clear my screen and now let's set up um, Conda environment. If you don't know what Conda is and how to install it, I have separate video on the channel. Just search with Conda keyword on the channel and you will find that video. So install the Conda, very simple. And then once Conda is installed, just create a virtual environment with the name vcoder. And it is going to install all the required things with it. And that makes it so easy to have everything in one place. Now activate that uh, Conda environment, Conda activate vcoder and you can see in this parenthesis that vcoder is now activated. Let me clear my screen. Now let's install and upgrade few of the other things like first I always upgrade the pip which is always a good idea so to have everything in place. Let's clear the screen and now first install our uh, CUDA toolkit. I I think I already have it but let's install it just for the sake of completion. Just press Y here. 
let's wait for it to finish so it takes bit of a time sometimes but that is fine let's wait it is still installing while that happens let me take you to the demo page of this project so this is a demo page and you can access it from the github repo and i'll drop the link there in video description too and this is where you can obtain the segmentation map for your images using their one format demo so simply um, just input your image here let me select one of my own image i have just selected one of the my videos caption which i did earlier and then you can see that you can also attach a segment map here and then you can talk with it or you can even talk with this one maybe i'll just say uh, what map of kangaroo something like that and then it is just talking with that one which doesn't make sense i'm just trying to hallucinate the model there you go now it has it is hallucinated the kangaroo the city located in the country of australia and all that stuff i'll just say what is the text in image let's see there you go so you, so you can see that now mixed all offloading this is what i have put it in my image so this time it was able to detect it which is cool let me scroll up there you go so it has very correctly identified that so this is how quick and easy and performant this model is okay let's go back to our ubuntu and see if where that is okay that is still installing let's wait for it to finish okay the toolkit is installed took bit of a time next thing we need to install is a lot of other stuff like pytorch torch vision and stuff let me run it and it is going to take bit of a time again my only worry is that i have one gpu of 16 gpu of vram so let's see if it is able to sustain that but at least we will see all the installation steps let's wait for this one to finish just press y here and press enter and it is going to install all of these packages That took a bit of a time, but eventually it's done. Let's uh, install a few more. So you can see that we're installing a lot of stuff here. So make sure that you have that much space on your um, disk. Because not only that, we have to install a few more things. And this is one of the pre prerequisites of these image manipulation uh, models. Which they require a lot of things to be installed. and that is done next thing we need to install is ninja so also pip install ninja that is done and you can ignore these warnings for now because i already have them installed and then we need to install this flash attention let's wait for it to get installed and then we also need to install few packages for evaluation let me clear my screen to avoid the clutter i'm just calling it python and i think it should be python 3 here because I'm, that is what i'm using sorry just need to remove that this will take a bit of a time that's done okay and we also need to use the nltk so let's also install it and that is was the last thing we needed to install let's clear the screen and now we need to do the cli inference so i'll just paste the command here and see if it works because 
of my GPU but let's see so what I'm doing here is I'm going to do the CLI inference and for CLI inference this is the command we need to use so we are just specifying our CUDA and then we are using our Python um, let me make it Python 3 and then we are specifying an, the model path which is the Shilabs vcoder DS lava and then we are specifying one of the image file which we have in the sample in the github repo which we have downloaded and the segmentation and we are just loading it at 4 bit so press enter and that is going to generate another image in the repository there you go it has uh, okay i think because it is a bit of a um i haven't really specified you can see the lines here so let me put it in the proper lining so I have specified only this command where I am just giving it this model name and my image name from the github repo and it is taking as you can see a bit of a time to generate the image but eventually it will as I mentioned I have a very small simple GPU so it will take a bit of a time so I will let it run now let's go back to our github repo for this uh, model so you can get all of these commands from here as what I used and I'll drop the link of it in video's description too and if I go back to my terminal you can see that it is loading that model which I have just run the size is under 10 gig so it depends upon your operating system too and also there are three shards so one shard is 10 gig and the rest of the shards are also a bit big so make sure that you have that much space on your operating system so that is completed after downloading the whole model in three shards and then it has ran this completed the inference and then exited so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you're stuck facing any issues let me know and i'll be happy to help and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much